about this shell. What is this shell? This shell is called as the Nautilus shell. Here is where the Nautilus lives and in these small chambers this helps the Nautilus float on water. Now we are going to measure the shell. All you will be needing to measure the shell is these two items, a divider and a ruler. Now let's take the divider and measure from the middle part of the shell to the edge of each chamber. Let's put it from the middle to this point of the chamber. Okay, now let's take our ruler and measure it. It is 3.07. Now let's do it again with another chamber. We take it from the middle and we take it to another chamber. Okay. Now let's take our ruler and measure it. It comes as 3.32. And now I have already noted down all the measurements. So you can also give it a try. So 3.59, 3.88, 3.89, 3.90. And now, as you can see, these are very random and strange measurements. But, if we take 3.32 and divide it with 3.07, we get 1.08. Let's do it again. With 3.79, we divide it with 3.32, we get 1.08. Let's do it again with 3.88. And with 3.59. And as you can see, a pattern starts to appear. And this pattern keeps on going with all of the numbers. And now, this spider, as you can see in the Nautilus shell, is also seen in nature, such as it's seen in sunflowers and it's also seen in rams. So the sunflower has a spiral in the middle of the seed and the ram has a spiral in its horns. And this spiral, spiral is seen everywhere in nature. Now let me show you something else. If we take 1 and add it with 1, we get 2. And let's take this number and add it with the answer. And we get 3. Let's take 2 and add it with the answer. We get 5. Let's add 3 with the answer, we we'll get 8. And there is no pattern in this number. But if we take 3 and divide it with 2, we get 1.6. Let's do it again. With 5 and 3, we get 1.6. And as you can see, a pattern starts to appear again. And this is called as golden ratio. And the method that we are using to get the golden ratio is called as the Fibonacci sequence.